Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kuban. What you're looking at is HP 8300 small form factor desktop. These computers are used in offices because they're so small and they're compact, right? Here's the thing, this one is about five to six years old. However, these computers are still really good because this particular one has i5-3470. This CPU is still really good for whether you're using it just for regular office or you know whether you want to do some gaming or some video editing or whatnot in this video I'm going to show you how to upgrade this type of desktop uh, just to kind of throw this out there a uh, couple other models 8200 and 8100 small form factor look just like this okay let's go ahead and pop this open so if you, when you have it on the side like this just use this lever pull this up like this and you have it open right away so starting from the front, if you want to replace this CD-ROM, you just have to pull up on this, on this part of it, right? And of course, this is the front-facing part of it, right? And if you want to remove your CD-ROM, you would disconnect your power, your serial connector, push it back down. At this point, what we need to do is press this green button here. Press it in, hold it. What, will this, what this will do is disconnect the CD-ROM. You pull back on it like so, and then you lift up. Now your CD-ROM is disconnected. I'm gonna put this to the side. And if you want to remove your hard drive, you would essentially do the same thing. Disconnect it, press the button, press the green button, pull up and then slide out okay now moving back to the power supply if you want to replace this power supply it's actually really simple there are only three wires first you would move your power supply like this you just lift it up you don't have to press any buttons or anything and it has three wires the first wire is here I will actually move this out of the way so you can see this helps to, you know, just to kind of pop this out of the way. And the wire to disconnect is actually right here. There's that wire. So you would just press the little tab. You would disconnect it, right? And you can separate it here from these little clamps. Okay. And then there's one connector here. Same type of deal. And there's this small one here. And now, to remove the power supply, kind of similar to our CD-ROM, pull it forward, in this case, and lift up. There you go. And then to reinstall it, you see it has these little, little grooves here. Just make sure you align the grooves. Make sure you align the grooves, push it down, and then push back and then tilt forward. So if you want to remove the heatsink or need to replace the CPU for some reason, you would have to access this little flap. It's basically an air guide, plastic air guide for the fan here so it can run air past this heatsink. Um, in order to remove it, I recommend that you pull up on this front part where the CD-ROM is. So we just need to free this plastic guide, air guide, from the wires they're just kind of clipped in here which is i've done something earlier here because they're kind of difficult to a little bit room not too difficult but they're just kind of clipped in and slotted here and then we're just going to pull up on this now we are your air guide is removed and now you have access to your heat sink and if you want to remove the heat sink you just use these little self kind of explanatory bolts here then you just pull up right and while I have this moved up this way, you can see that you have easy access to your RAM. Here you can update, upgrade it up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is great. Looks like it's dual channel as well. In case you decide to upgrade to additional drives, you have two more serial port connectors here that you can use to do so. We have our PCI Express slots, you could put in two PCI Express cards in here. 
For example, if you wanted to put something in here like this, you can certainly do so. You just have to make sure it's a small form factor video card like so. In order to do that, you would just move this flap here, take the one of these take one of these metal slot blockers, I guess if you will, out of the way. And now you can connect your video card in there. You just slot it in. Make sure it's a small form factor video card that can fit in here because if it's too tall it won't fit. After you connect it, you can just use one of the leftover power connectors in order to provide additional power to your video card. I hope you guys like this video. I will put a link to this type of desktop in the description box below from Amazon. They are around $150. You know, some less, some more, depending what you're getting, whether you're getting a hard drive, how much RAM you're getting, you know, stuff like that. All right, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.